This is 10 years in the making right here. The cup. Take a shell, a seashell. Get a seashell. A seashell is where you hear the, the shore, you idiot. Oh. Very well, I will never disrespect you like that. <laughs> you know that, right? I know that. I will never make you do anything that would jeopardize anything. <laughs> do you know that? I thank you for that. You're welcome. You have a good night, though. And you're the sweetest. I know. <laughs> I promise you I would never do that to you. You never. Sex me like 20 minutes when they're all going to bed. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> shh, shh, shh. I, I do love you. You're so sweet for that. No, I seriously love Gentlemen, you. Gentlemen, and, and I love you, and that's why I love you. Wait. When I get that green light, I'm going to the out of you. Oh, you got no! Oh. Not ready. Oh. Not ready. Oh. What did she say? Did she oh. ask you to leave? Our roommates would probably love to see us hook up. I think the whole world wants to see it. I just respect her too much to jeopardize whatever. I get it, she's single, but not exactly yet, you know? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know if she's really single. It never stopped you before. <laughs> I mean, I'm good. I never really met single JWoww. I really do respect the girl. She's like my sister, but it's always like, what would that be like? Would we ever? All right, well, guys, if there's not going to be any sex, I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> good night, guys. All right. No. Okay. I don't understand what's going on. That blows. Really? Good night, everyone, I guess. I just realized Nicole's been laying there the whole time with her udder hanging out. <laughs> my tit, my tit also, my tit. <laughs> Forever. I respect her too much. She, I don't think she's really that I, single. Nah, I know, but it's funny because you both want to. I know. She wants to. I know. You want to. A hundred percent. But what am I supposed to do? I mean, yeah, she broke up with 24 like, like yeah, just like yesterday. today. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Jay, <laughs> I thought you were going to sleep in bed with him at least. So well, I'm 100% single. I heard that. It's just well, the fact that, like, and I still try to, like, remember that time we were in New York City? No one said this on me, but sleep next to me. Remember that time we were in New York City? He shut the door on me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Polly and I have this weird past 10 years ago. And after I filed for a divorce, I tried to reopen that past. Me and Polly had a nice dinner together that night. I remember that. And, and then we went home to together. Like... Yeah. And he shut the door on me. But why? I don't know. Ask him. What he, like, surprised me for my birthday. And I went back to his hotel room, and it just didn't work out like that. So I decided to just end it there. You are upset about that. I remember sure that. Sure was. I mean, obviously, that was terrible. So, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I really don't know what to say. Like, I would have totally went in and did play dirty things with Polly. I told you. I've tried. Why does he keep doing that? I don't know. You ask him. He said he respects you too much. And he respects me too much. I'm confused. I don't know what's going on with this kid. I don't know if he's too scared to do it because he doesn't want you know, because they've been friends for so long. He doesn't want to, you know, tarnish that friendship. But, Polly, you've never had a problem hooking up with girls before. What the f is going on? I'm confused because I Obviously, I'm not going to do it with my best friend past that with her udder hanging out. <clears throat> she need any existence over there? She's OK. She's fine. OK. Listen, when you get the green light. That's that, what I said. That's one thing. If you don't have the green light, then you're not going to force the issue. No. Do you think about this a lot? Probably, right? You probably think about it. I know he has feelings for you, because I see it. I love Polly for so many reasons. And I feel like, because of that, there actually would have to be substance there before I actually sleep with him, because this isn't 10 years ago. So I don't want to be just one of those girls that like him because of his success. But I also don't want to be treated like one of those girls either. You you get to the bottom of it. You find out why. If right now was seven months ago at my surprise party, yeah, like, yes, Polly, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, good night, Jenny. Good night, Angelina. I I'll ask if you want. I definitely have a few questions from Polly. Like, what is going on? Why did you just walk out of the room? Are you gonna hook up with her? Do you like her, Polly? What's going on? Well, 
What an eventful night. I gotta be honest with you. I am not giving up on this. She really likes him. I know he likes her. I can still make this happen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting this. Was it? I get in bed. No. We're all friends here. Weirdo. We're all friends here. Holly, what's going on? Like, what is going on? Holly, that was so crazy. You know what she told me just now? No, what she said. I walked in the room and I was like, what the f happened? She's like, no, I really am single. I heard Ronnie saying that I'm not really single. I was like, all right. She's like, no, well, Paulie shut the door on me in Manhattan. You guys have a connection, Paulie, and I know you like her, and I know he, she likes you, but now I know that in the past, she's given him the green light, and he didn't take it. She came to my show, and I, like, obviously I wanted to, but like I didn't know if I was supposed to cross that line or not. And then I slept on it, and then dude swooped in. <sighs> That's what happened. The thing is, too, like at that time, like she was just a married woman right, 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 right. Like for like years. Sure. And at that point, I didn't even know she wanted to. She wanted to. Yeah, I didn't know that. Like, what happens if I do it and they get back with dude tomorrow? Yeah, it's not your problem. It's not your problem, kid. <laughs> right, and I feel that way if she wasn't my family. Listen to me, listen to me. You have to find out because he can't be all up in there and then like find out like she's not ready and this and that. Like, come on. What do you get, mean not ready? Get like a sign, get like a Hello? signal. Hello? If I go in there, she's not gonna be straight up with me because I'm. I'll guy. go in with you. I'll go. Okay. I'm gonna right, be right next to you. I'm not gonna feed you to the sharks. What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> Everything's good. I just I went in their room and he thinks that you're not really single. I said, no, she's really single. No, I'm single. I'm just a mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right now, you're just trying to chill, like go to sleep, like a mom, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I also tried many times with him. He well, he it. wants to now because those times were in the past and they were different situations. I would be very open to talking to Polly, but I haven't seen that effort yet. Supposedly so the first time you were like just had gotten freshly divorced, so, now, so you don't yeah. want to do it. I wasn't even divorced. Exactly. Not even How can you do that when you're not, not even divorced? Not even divorced, yet. I mean. My How bad. Can you not do even that? divorced. Like you can send her. Polly and Jenny, it's super weird because they're like brother and sister, right? Good night. Hello. Good night. How are you? How are you? But at the same time, no one would understand each other's lives better than Polly and Jenny. Yeah, she don't want that right now. No. You could actually see it happening. It's like weirdly a match. Like you ever see that movie like how Stella got her groove back? Mm -hmm. Like Stella didn't just get her groove back in like a minute, you know what I'm saying? Like it took her a while to like work her way back into it. So what am I supposed to do? You gotta find Jenny's groove, you know? How Jenny got her groove back. I think he's just nervous to start this. That's right. what I just got to Because he doesn't he want to. Because I feel like once he knows he starts it. Yeah, there's no end. There's no, there's no turning back. Well, there's, yeah. I don't know if like you could just hook up instantly. Right. But like, I don't know. Would you like romance her a little bit? I've only known her to be in a relationship. I've never known her to be single. So we never had the time to ever really explore that route. JWoww and Paulie D have some serious history, okay? If that woman was ever ready to hook up, I'm there. But I feel like with Paulie, it's like you gotta start with the hooking up and then it could blossom into something. The it's the day, a wait and see. At the end of the day. Hey, listen, I'm going to your wedding alone. And so is he. Is he? He doesn't have a date. Okay. He responded as just himself. I'm responding as just myself. Okay, so you're going alone. Oh, this is nice. If I got the green light from her that she was done with dude, yes. I, it's my, my eyes, she's not done with, dude. I mean, she says she is, but I, I get what you're saying. She's probably not. Yeah, so. I cannot believe that really happened with Jenny and Paul. So I, I'm wondering what is going to happen at this wedding. It's the perfect ending to the Jersey Shore rom-com would be if Jenny and Paulie ended up together hooking up. God knows where we're going to go from here. Go to bed, bitch. Try to be matchmaker. Go, go get married, matchmaker. Get it's weird. Good night, my dude. Hi, Watch Jersey Shore Family Vacation every Thursday.